brings us another car with unprecedented star quality. Another world premiere here at the Mercedes stand is the GLS. We call it the S-Class of the SUV. Let's have a closer look. From the outside, the GLS has a lot in common with its smaller brother, the GLE, but it keeps its independence. For example, the skid plate of the GLS is more pronounced and the six slits in the fins of the radiator grille remain visually defining. Unlike its predecessor, the daytime running lights have been integrated into the main headlamps of the GLS. At the rear, the changes are limited mainly to the bumper and the rear lights. If that should leave you in any doubt, however, the significant difference in size immediately ends any possible confusion between the GLE and the GLS from the start. Thanks to around 5 meters 10 in length, 1 meter 90 in width and 1 meter 85 in height, the interior of the GLS offers a very generous amount of space and 7 full-size seats. Of course, the interior of the Mercedes top SUV features materials and finishing of exquisite quality. The GLS comes with the latest generation of Command Online and the wide range of assistance and safety systems already known from other models. The cockpit has been completely redesigned and now features a fixed iPad-style central display. The display dominates the dashboard of the GLS with a maximum diagonal width of 8 inches. The central control unit for the command system is also new. The engine range consists of two 6 and two 8 cylinder models. The entry version is the GLS 350D 4MATIC with its 258 brake horsepower diesel engine. The top model is the Mercedes AMG GLS 63 4MATIC, whose V8 turbo petrol provides a commanding 585 brake horsepower and 760 newton meters to the drivetrain. Regardless of the engine, the new GLS can come exclusively with all-wheel drive. The new S-Class SUV can be